for everyone who eats their bacon like that, you, you seriously need to learn how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> So good. <laughs> what is going on guys? I thought I'd take a break really from building inside the pallet shed. I'm gonna get some food on. I've got a lovely fresh baguette, some mushrooms, some bacon, some rapeseed oil, and um, yeah, I fancy something like a little bit of a treat, you know, like a treat meal. Bacon sandwiches is definitely a treat. So um, yeah, it's raining outside again. It has not stopped since I got here. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot else I can do, guys. I'm just glad I got myself some food. So the weather has just been diabolical. We've had that storm, Brendan, I think it was. And it, it was so bad, like, oh my God. <laughs> Whenever I come to the allotment plots um, from what is essentially the country, Kelly kind of gives me a weather warning every time I go, which is really sweet. And she did warn me about, you know, trees going down and things like that, and she wasn't wrong. Uh, I mean, luckily by the time I'd left, they had been cleared, but there were some big trees that had been moved to the side of the road that my God, they would have caused some damage if they'd have hit you. So yeah, I was in the process of, you know, continuing the build inside here. Uh, and then I remembered that I got myself some lunch and I am getting quite hungry now. I've been in here for about two hours. Uh, it's freezing cold. It is wet. It's just really miserable weather. So I needed something to cheer me up. So I got bacon, <laughs> I got chestnut, uh, mushrooms. I got some uh, rapeseed oil just to fry this up because the last cook that I did at the allotment plot I didn't have any oil, uh, any grease, any lubricant of any kind. And yeah it's just basically a mushroom and bacon roll but it's going to sustain me to hopefully get this done uh, in here before dark. It's just one of them days because I haven't slept I think like the smallest things that I would usually not find any problem doing. They're kind of like <laughs> they're, they're bigger jobs than I thought they were. So it's trying to get bits and pieces to basically fit and match so this all ties in. Um, and on no sleep, I, I kind of feel like I need a few hours, you know, kit, and then I'll be I'll be able to come back to this and, and I won't have to keep redoing bits and pieces throughout the video because I'm not happy with how it went. That's basically it, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, I've, um, I've cooked in dirtier kitchens than this, trust me. <laughs> It's just a really wet start to the year. I mean, it is January, what can you expect? <laughs> it's winter. But uh, sometimes, you know, when the sun breaks through and you kind of think, I don't know, my initial thought is yes. <laughs> and then it's followed by wind and rain and hail and it's just horrible. And it's quite hard to stay wrapped up in all your winter gear, you know, like your, your jumpers, your coats, your woolly hat and your scarf while working, because obviously, And got a bit hot because <laughs> uh, obviously you start to sweat when you work just got to keep going forward guys you really have you just got to keep keep going forward brand new one I I that one so high twenty seven calorie spray <laughs> I'm not going to worry about washing the mushrooms. You can, uh, you can eat the dirt on a mushroom. Mm. Mm. So my plan for the next few days is to continue working here just for a couple of days, uh, non-stop, and try and get a, a vlog out every single day. Although that's a bit of a challenge. Um, I do enjoy it. It kind of gives me a, a bit of a kick up the ass to to keep going. And I mentioned in a video recently that a lot of people who watch my vlogs might think my allotments are ready, but there, there's still quite a bit of preparation to do. Say for example, sometimes if I make a video and I'll show you guys how to do something, I'll then walk away from that to do something else. And if there's like four beds, for example, I've only done one of them, then I need to return and then do the remaining three. But by the time I you know, get round to it, three weeks have gone by. Because I'm, I'm always doing something, I'm always busy. You know, there's not a day that goes by when I'm not doing something with my hands. Um, but it's fun, it really is fun. I mean, cooking in the shed in winter, 
I mean, I prefer it if it was a bit warmer, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it is fun, it's all fun. And, uh, someone mentioned that even though I go a little bit Ainsley Harriet when I'm cooking. <laughs> Well, no, that's a compliment to me, guys. I love that guy. <laughs> I put the whole packet of bacon on because, you know, why not? I'm the only one here and I haven't got a fridge, so. <laughs> right, come on, guys, own up. Who eats their bacon like this? Literally, like, microwaved, where it still looks like it hasn't been cooked at all. Own up. Who likes their bacon like that? That is absolutely disgusting. I once went fishing with a, a guy I knew and I was like, oh, what should I bring for the morning? Because we, we camped out. And he said, oh, don't worry, I've got everything sorted. And I said, oh, what you got? He said, oh, I've got bread, I've got butter, I've got uh, bacon. So we can just have a nice bacon sandwich in the morning. So I was like, oh, that sounds lovely. And um, uh, I just assumed that I'd be cooking it because he wasn't very good. And um, oh my God, he presented me it with it having just, you know, slid past the pan. It was like it just come out of the pack and it was in the bread. Uh, I kind of was like, I can't eat that, mate. And he was like, what's wrong with it? And um, I was like, it's not cooked. He was like, it is cooked. It looked like that. It literally looked like it came out of the pack. Guys, no, no, that's the wrong way to eat bacon. For everyone who eats their bacon like that, you, you seriously need to learn how to cook. <laughs> oh, I trust this to run out of gas. It's my last little cylinder. That's why I was using this one because um, I had one little um, gas bottle left and it was about what I thought was about a quarter full. But uh, because it's so cold, it's, uh, it's not burning. I mean, it's got gas in it. It's just, that's, a ma that's the maximum amount of flame we're gonna get. So I'm gonna have to go and get my other little cooker and uh, continue. Well, I've got the cooker. I just need to go and get a, uh, a bottle of gas. You wait till we've got our kitchen set up, guys. We'll be cooking outdoors all the time. So we've got our bottle of gas. This is nearly full up. So that should, uh, should work quite well, providing I've got a lighter. Some of these do actually have a uh, a part on them that you sort of push and it creates a spark. Uh, this one doesn't, so it does require a lighter. Just get that one out of the way. That's it. At least this way we can carry on. <laughs> See, like everyone says, I bring too much stuff, you know, I've had it in the comments, Kelly says it, her mum said it, and um, this is why I take so much with me, you never know. I mean, if this went all together, I'd need the lighter fluid to, to get the wet wood outside to maybe take so I can finish off cooking. <laughs> I do take a lot of stuff, I know I take a lot of stuff with me, wherever I go, be it camping, fishing, you know, just out to the shop. <laughs> I do take a, a lot. But it's, you know, times like this where I feel like you need it, you know. It'd be interesting to know what you guys take down to your allotment plots. I did do a, a bushcraft style coffee with the Kelly Kettle and I was amazed to see how many people um, didn't know they existed. I thought they were like as common as a natural, you know, like traditional kettle, but they're not. Yeah, I'd be quite interested to know what else you take down. Um, Someone asked me recently if I've got a spoon. I mean, I've got a knife, fork, spoon set in here. I've got another teaspoon, but I can't always find uh, what I need on the day. So if I'm making a coffee, for example, I'll just use the sachet to, to stir it. I mean, it does the job and that's all I do when I'm camping um, because it saves taking, well, I say saves taking excess weight. This has been on every single camping trip with me, along with its cousin that's twice the size of this and holds pretty much the same items. I'm absolutely terrible, but no, does anyone else cook on, you know, on their allotment plot or in their shed? Um, and what have you cooked? I'm planning the kitchen outside, uh, as many of you already know, and that's going to be for everything. We're going to be able to, well, we're going to try and create like a hob on the top, as well as somewhere to barbecue. We'll try and tie it all in at the back and it really will become a kitchen garden where we can come down, prepare our food, cook our food, 
enjoy our food, tidy up and then leave. I mean, that's gonna be the most satisfying part of turning this into an actual kitchen garden rather than just you know an allotment plot with rows and rows and rows of um, generic crops. It's a garden we've created here, guys. That's why I refer to it as the gardens. But no, let me know. What else do I mean? Put it in the comments. What else, what do you bring? Do you cook? Have you got a stove? What kind of stove? What do you cook on your allotment plot? I can't be the only one that brings like bacon and stuff like this now. Surely not. Yeah, I know there's, there's got to be other people that um, do this sort of thing. Maybe not in winter so much. I mean, there's going to be one or two, I can imagine. But a lot of people think outdoor cooking is, uh, is a summer thing. And I've never understood why. Surely all you want in winter is something warm, you know, that's come off of a, I don't know, a barbecue or something. You know, when you're boiling hot and you've got a barbecue going, it just makes you hotter. Uh, winter barbecue and winter cooking is, is where it's at. It really is. And uh, the only reason I've not got the smoker out is because of how much I've actually got going on on the allotment plots, the gardens at the moment. And it is an absolute mess. I will show you once we've eaten. Um, well, I mean, it's not that bad. It's messy for me. Um, and there's a bit of, not wind damage, but wind has blown everything everywhere. So it's trying to collect what's actually mine and put it back where it was, if I can remember where it was. Woo, what the freaking hell was that? Oh my God, I think that was this cooling down because it's so cold. Woo, what the freaking hell was that? Oh my God, that made my heart go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, move that drill, there's a battery pack on there. <laughs> Knife on here. Here we have. Oh, yeah. We can maybe cut our roll. It doesn't look it, but it is so cold. It really is like absolutely brutal. I'm not too worried about any crumbs going on the floor, guys. The whole shed needs a good clean. It's absolutely full of sawdust. Oh, that worked brilliantly as a little bread knife. <laughs> awesome. This was the smallest fresh roll I could get if anyone's wondering. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> but today is indeed a meat day. I've not been consuming meat every single day. I have been cutting it out. Um, not religiously, but you know, now and again, I'll, I'll have a few days off of meat. So I haven't had bacon in months so this is smelling so so good um, and yeah it really is a treat guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pack down some of my stuff quickly because the rain has got really heavy and um, chuck it in the van and then i'll come back hopefully that would have cooked a little bit more <laughs> it's just so cold everything's like running slow including me which is really unusual <laughs> oh, 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 oh it's got so cold So I've got my head trimmer out as well because I've got nine lavender plants, lavender shrubs, um, that I need to sort of shape while they're still uh, dormant, essentially. There's no flowers under them at all. There's no flower shoots at the moment. Um, but I'm not sure if it still runs. So I need to go up to my locker, get the oil that goes with it, uh, mix up the ratio of oil and fuel, and see if it goes. If it does, it means I can just breeze uh, through it basically without having to do it all with a pair of rusty secateurs. Uh, so that'd be ideal, but it is out in the rain. I don't want to put it in the van because it has got a leaky gas tank. So yeah, I've, the van's got enough wrong with it without it smelling even more of fuel. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I wish you could smell that. 
We've had some onions. All my onions are at home. I mean, we're getting through them, but there were so many of them. Um, I wish I left just one here, and I could have added a bit of onion into that. Love the smell of fried onion. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, guys. I really am. <laughs> I'd say we was nearly done. Got some nice crispy bits on there. I'm never gonna get it all crispy because there's too much in the pan. It's completely overloaded. <laughs> Let's try and be a bit healthier and we'll take some bread out. That is, a, that is a lot of bread. I don't eat too much bread. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of bread. <laughs> It didn't have a smaller roll. Not a fresh one anyway. I could have got a um, you know, pre-made one in Germany and shipped over or something, but I wanted something that was fresh. This was warm when I picked it up this morning. Absolutely ideal. Mm. I suppose we're just gonna go for the traditional pour in the bacon into the bread. <laughs> it's a treat. And I probably won't eat this again for a very long time. <laughs> Even a leek, I'd have been happy with just a leek. Have I got a leek? I think it's a bit late now anyway. This will get cold. Oh my God, guys. Look at the size of this. Mushroom and bacon fresh baguette. I think I'm just going to go straight in. <laughs> Why not? Mmm. 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 Is it just me? Or... Does food like this, you know, like just the frying pan, mushrooms, that sort of thing, does it taste better outside compared to if you were stood in your kitchen at home and you just stood there, you know, leaning up against a work surface? To me, this whole environment makes, makes this taste even nicer. And like I said, it is a treat. I wouldn't ordinarily eat this, but um, I just fancied it. Why not? Mmm. Mmm. The size of it, guys. I think that actually does it justice how big it really is. It is massive. Very nice bread. Mmm. Guys, I'm going to give you a quick look around. The rain isn't really showing up, but it is really raining. Uh, give you a quick look around and then I'm going to pack up and head off. If you watched the last video, you'll see that I've prepared the beds at the front. So they are ready now. Uh, spring ready and we ain't got to worry about anything. So yeah, there's just a lot of mess, like I was saying about the pallets. You know, I've got usable wood here on our pallet bench that we built. Uh, a pile of scrap in that bucket over there. And this is kind of like, needs to be wrapped up, but it was already wet when I got here. So I didn't want to wrap up wood that was already soaking wet because that's just, just gonna make it worse. You know, if I'm harboring the moisture inside the wood. So it, I'm just gonna have to wait for a dry day now and then restack it. There's not a lot more I can do, but I do need to, to, uh, to use some of this wood to continue the shed build. Oh, I'm getting blood off my feet. And then the tunnel, as you can see, is, uh, is not as neat as it used to be. <laughs> so I've been making more planters, uh, just in between, you know, breaks in the rain. I've just been coming in here. Uh, my drill in there. 
Yes, must remember to get my drill and the sprues and then come back again Woo! tomorrow and continue when hopefully we're not working in a blizzard. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy these little videos and um, you know it keeps us busy until spring so yeah cheers guys make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next video oh this is the only really like windproof place on the plot at the moment we need to get that shed up <laughs>